Hello, welcome to the session. I'm Richard Paul, and it's my honor to have with me Michelle and Patrick. Today, we're doing the Turbo Tabata. Now, you may have heard of Tabata before. It's an extremely effective way to train, which brings about a whole load of great fitness adaptations. Things like increased cardio, increased muscular strength, muscular toning, muscular endurance, and also weight loss. So, a great way to train, a fantastic session. So let's get into it. Here we go with the warm-up. Just marching on the spot. That's nice rhythmic breathing. Out. Out. That's it. Let's get some arms involved. Swing in the arms. That's it. That's it. Keep going. Fantastic. Just so you know, Tabata is a little bit of a more intense workout than usual. Obviously, go at your own pace. We're going to make sure we get nice and warmed up so we're ready to take on the session about to come. Okay, now we're going to take it to a light jog. Here we go. Jogging on the spot. That's it. Start to get that heart rate nice and elevated. A few more, breathe in and breathe out. So just to let you know, in this warm-up, we're going to get the heart rate up do a little bit of mobility, then just finish off on a nice little pulse raiser, and then we're right into it. Excellent. A few more. Okay, now going to the side skating. Here we go. Two, one, and let's push off and back. Push off and back. Push off and back. Great job. So now we're working a lot more the lateral muscles in the thighs, in the hips, in all those. Nice and fired up, ready for what's about to go. That's it. Don't forget the arms as well. So really swing across, getting the whole body warm up. Don't forget to breathe. If you can, try and breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Your nose is a natural filter. If you're getting a little bit out of breath, sticking to the mouth is absolutely fine. Excellent. Okay, and to center. Great job. Shake it off. So now I've got to use a little bit of mobility. I'm going to start off with the upper body and the spine. Feet shoulder width apart. I'm just going to press right forward and back. Forward and back. So we're just starting to slightly contract those upper body muscles and also stretch and stretching them when we come back. Keep breathing. Also getting that rotation in the spine. Feels good. Excellent. Okay, just a couple more. And here we go. Shake it off a sec. Now into knee thrusts. Arms nice and high. Left foot back. We're going to bring the knee up. Hands towards the knees. Here we go. And one, two, three. That's it. Starting to work those hip flexors. Really powerful muscle. Is definitely going to get a workout in this session. Also bringing in the upper body, getting those lats going, shoulder muscles going, and the shoulder joint as well. Just what we need. Great job. Keep going. A few more. Excellent. And let's change sides. Same thing. Foot back, arm forward. Here we go. One, two, that's it. Four. How are you doing back there? Yeah, feeling good. good. Yeah, feeling nice and warm? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. You feeling nice and warm? I hope so. I'm feeling nice and warm. Getting there. Just a few more. Bring the arms right down. Two and one. Okay, great job. So now we're going to work on a bit more mobility in the hip area. We're going to take the knee from inside to out. Take three steps, two, three, and same on the other side. Really open up those hip muscles and the hip joint. Ready? 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 Let's go, starting with the right leg. Here we go, and rotate. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Really nice and easy, nothing strenuous. Just getting a good range of motion in those hip muscles. That's it. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Open up, two, three, one, two, three. A few more. Three. Okay, same thing now, we're gonna go the other direction. So this time, bring the knee out, T, 
to in, three steps, change. So here we go, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. One, three, that's it. Big rotation. Start nice and easy to start off with. If you then can get a little bit more rotation throughout the exercise, to get the extra range of motion. As if you're trying to step over a little well, big rock, little wall, whichever way you want to look at it. That's it. Really open up those hips. Full range of motion. One. And stop right there. Okay, back to jogging on the spot. Here we go. Just to really get that heart rate up nice and high before we go into the main part of the workout. That's it. Three, four. Just bring the arms in and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, keep going. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna raise them out to the side and down. Here we go. One, two. We really get those shoulders working now. And again, last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And rest. Fantastic. Okay, that's the warm up done. Now we're gonna get into the main part of the session. So all we're gonna do is do a 20 second activity followed by a 10 second rest. And then we're gonna do another exercise for 20 seconds, followed by a 10 second rest. And we're gonna repeat that four times in total. The first exercise we're gonna do is squats. And the second exercise we're gonna do for this set is push-ups. So, let's get to it. Michelle is gonna demonstrate some squats. So all she's gonna do is force the hips backwards, that's it, taking the legs about shoulder width apart, or maybe a little bit wider. She's gonna go down, making sure those knees don't go over the toes, going down and coming up, that's it. Make sure we keep breathing as well. As long as you keep breathing, it's fine. Otherwise, breathe in on the way down, breathe out on the way up. Excellent, make sure that back is nice and straight when we go down. That's why we push the hips out. Excellent, Michelle, great job. Fantastic, and rest. Awesome. Now, to demonstrate for the press-ups, Patrick, all we're gonna do is get down into a press-up position, making sure the hands are beneath the shoulders, back is nice and straight, not arching that back. We wanna make sure it's nice around, tensing those abs. And when we're ready, we're gonna go down, and push up, that's it, excellent. And down, two, three, push up. Notice that when we extend that arm after the push up, we're not going to full extension. We're really protecting that joint, going to what's called soft elbows. Very important, just a couple more. Excellent, and breathing out, that's it. Breathing in, and breathing out, and rest. Okay, all right, if you find press ups a little bit too tough, that's absolutely fine. Just go down to the knees and just do the exact same thing. Just watch out for that back. Don't make it arch too much. Nice and straight, okay? So we're gonna get into position, we're gonna get ready for our first Tabata set. Here we go, so, starting off with the squats, we're gonna go for 20 seconds. Now, into position, legs nice and wide. Are we ready guys? Ready at home? Three, two, one, let's go. 20 seconds of squats. Here we go. So we got Michelle doing the normal squat, that's fantastic, just going all the way down, lowering up and exploding up. Now if you feel that it's a little bit too easy, then by all means jump to this one, which is what Pat's doing, the squat jump. Exact same thing, but with an extension and jump at the top. It's a lot tougher. A few more seconds, you're doing great. One, and relax, 10 second rest. Excellent. How was that, guys? Yeah, good. Good, good. good. How was that at home? Here we go, down to press ups. Two, one, let's go, 20 seconds. Down, and one. Now, it's important just to work at your own pace. Obviously here we've got Michelle doing on the knee version, that's absolutely fine. If you feel it's a little bit too easy, then by all means just go straight to the toes, just as Patrick's doing. Just a few more seconds, nearly there, keep going. And two, one, and rest, up we come. Great job guys. Look at that, first set of Tabata. Doing great guys, and you're doing great. Going back to the squats, here we go. Two, one, let's go. And just down, and up. Excellent, so you can see this is a real lower body exercise. Really working all the glutes, the hamstrings, and also the quads as well. Now the thing is, is that got this jump, the extension here, that really helps work the gastro, what's called the calf as well. You guys doing great, keep going, just a few more seconds. Two, one, and rest, excellent. Down we go. In a few seconds, just take your time, another five seconds or so. Here we go guys at home, this is it. This is where it counts. Two, one, and let's go, into push-ups. Excellent, one, two, two, three, two. Keep that breathing going. Just work your own pace. You wanna feel like it should be a little bit tough, but not to the point where you're getting absolutely exhausted. Just working so we get that nice fitness adaptations going. 
Excellent, two. One great job, guys, and up we come. Excellent. So we're halfway through now, we've done two of each exercise. Same thing again now, just two more to go on each one. Squats, here we go, in two, one, let's go. Excellent. Make sure we breathe in, that's it. All the way down. Again, it's important not to sacrifice speed for technique here. We don't want to get bad technique. If you find you have to push too much for bad technique, just slow it down a little bit. That's a great job, guys. Keep going. Two, one, and relax. Excellent. Big deep breaths in. Start to get down. Second last one. Here we go. Two, two, one. Let's go. Pushing up and up. That's it. Breathing in and breathing out. You can hear these guys working. I bet you're working at home as well. It's a real efficient way to train. Just a little bit more to go. Keep going. That's it. Keeping that back nice and straight. That's it. Fantastic technique here. No arching of the back. A few more seconds. Two, one, and relax. Excellent, guys. Up we come. Last round. You guys have done so well. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good. Feeling good. Excellent. Let's go. Two, one. Last round. One. Excellent. And two. Great job. Working at their own pace. As you can see, we've got great technique going, so we're working in a real safe way. So important. We want to be safety first. It's a huge deal. We want to make sure we get that. Five seconds left. Let's go. And two, one, and stop. Fantastic. Last exercise, then a nice whole minute rest. Big deep breaths. Make the most of your 10 second rest. Really important. Here we go. Two, one, and let's go. There you go, guys. Nearly there. Doing so well. Got a nice long one minute rest afterwards, which you guys have earned. And you've earned as well. Not easy, this stuff. But it's going to bring so many great fitness adaptations. Keep going. You're doing well. Two, one, and relax. Excellent. How are you guys feeling? Good. Yes, yeah, it's pretty yeah. tough or pretty easy? It's okay. Normal? Yeah. Normal? Okay. Feeling good. I, I don't say yeah, I was gonna say it might be different for Pat. Great job guys. Okay, go and grab a drink in that one minute rest. Let's go make the most of it. So that was the first series of Tabata. Just to recap, Tabata is about 20, it's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, repeated eight times. So what we're actually doing here is what's called a superset. And all a superset is is a fancy way of saying doing one exercise followed by another exercise and just keep going that way. And with this particular one, we're going from a lower body exercise to an upper body exercise. So we get a lot of what's called blood shunting. Your blood has to go from the lower muscles in the lower body to the upper body muscles. And that in itself is a huge fitness adaptation. That also takes a lot of cardio and also really takes the breath out of you as well. So we're going to get ready for the next exercise now. So guys, if you'd like to get into position. So what we're going to do is go for, first of all, the shoulder press. Now, if you'd like to just show Michelle, please, the shoulder press. Arms nice and high from here. We're going to push straight up above us. That's it. And down, two, two, three, and push up, two, three, and down. Now, notice Michelle, her back is nice and straight. She's not arching the lower back. She's keeping those abs nice and tense. Also, what's going on, she's slightly bent to the knees as well, just protecting that knee joint. And that's great, Michelle. Excellent. And rest. Thank you very much. Okay, the second exercise we're going to do for this set is bent over row with a narrow grip. Okay, now Pat's going to demonstrate this with the resistance band. From here, all we're going to do is bend over with a slight squat, hips coming out, shoulders back. We're going to pull the elbows out right into the side. That's it. Now, Pat, he's a real strong fella. He's choosing the harder version with the resi resistance band, which is to cross over. You don't have to do that. If you want to just pull up straight to the sides, that's absolutely fine. Great job. Excellent, Pat. Okay, and rest. Excellent. Make sure that back's nice and straight as he was. Phenomenal. So those are the two exercises we're going to do. Here we go. When you're ready, 20 seconds on. First of all, starting with the shoulder press. 10 seconds. They're going straight into the bent over row. You guys ready? Yeah. Ready. You ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. So that's it. Shoulder press with the weights right up above. Like I say, we've got Michelle here doing it with some dumbbells. Otherwise, what we can do is just do as Patrick's doing here with the exercise band. Either way is absolutely fine. If you have either piece of equipment, please use it. And if you don't, then what you can do is just use your body weight. That's also fine. Nearly there. Two, one, and relax. Great job. 10 second rest. Really make the most of your 10 second rest. Now going into the bent over row. Here we go. Two, one, and let's go. That's it. Really lock that breathing in with the exercise as well. It helps to breathe out once you've done the exertion. 
and breathe in on the way down. Excellent, great job. Notice the real straight backs we've got here, that's exactly what we're looking for. And nearly there, five more seconds. Two, one, and relax and stand up. Shake it off a little bit. Make the most of that recovery. Nice little five seconds of this. Big, deep, big, deep breath in. Here we go. Two, shoulder press one, and let's go. That's it. Just keeping that back nice and straight. Bending the knees as well. That's it, excellent. So obviously as well, you have to check with your resistance band. If it's very tough, just obviously adapt that. If it's very tough, just bend the knees even more so to adapt for that extra resistance. A few more seconds, guys. Here we go, and relax. Excellent, and lower it down. Big deep breaths in, shake it off. Excellent, great job at home, doing really well. Nearly there, two, one, let's go. Bent over rows, excellent, fantastic, that's it. So just as long as the tempo is nice and slow and controlled, that's what we're looking for. We're not looking for any big major jerky movements. Nice and controlled, just as these guys are doing, that's great. Three more seconds to go, two, one, and relax, excellent, great job. That's two, we're halfway through. Just two more beats to go, you guys are doing really well. Here we go, two, one, and shoulder press, let's do it. And two, excellent, big deep breaths in, and breathe out, that's it. Keeping those knees bent, keeping those arms, again, not going to full extension, just keeping those nice soft elbows at the top, that's what we're looking for. Knee there, a few more seconds, two, one, and relax. Fantastic, how are you guys doing? Doing good. good. Yeah, you feel it? Oh yeah. yeah. Great job, nearly there, here we go. Bent over row, two, one, let's go. Straight into it. That's it. So just working in a full range of motion, making sure the neck is nice and straight as well, because the neck is a very important part of the back and of the whole spine. Full contraction into a narrow grip, really working those lats and also the upper back muscles as well to a degree. Two, one, and relax. Excellent guys, doing really well. Last round, nearly there, home stretch. You guys have got it. Three seconds to go, shoulder press. Two, one, let's go. Excellent, one, breathing in, breathing out. Two, keeping that back nice and straight, tensing those abs, You're doing so well. That's it. And as you can see, keeping those legs closer together just decreases that resistance a little bit. Let's go, and two, one, relax, fantastic. Shake it off, nice rest. Here you go, last exercise, bent over rows. Three, two, one, let's go. Two, Okay, so really make sure that back's nice and straight. I know it's getting a little tough now, it's the last time. So that's when technique starts to fade. Really keep that back nice and straight, full range of motion. A few more seconds to go, two, two, one, and rest. Excellent, great job, guys. Go and grab some water, go and grab some water at home. You guys definitely earned it. So the reason why these workouts are so effective is because what's happening is we're really triggering what's called the anaerobic energy systems. We're having to really use a lot of oxygen to the point where our body can't even compensate and use the oxygen at the pace we need it for. So we're really having to use a lot of what's called aerobic stores and anaerobic stores and that's why we're getting this huge breath, this huge oxygen debt and that's why these guys are having to breathe a lot whilst they're doing it and that's a great sign. Training at higher intensities is always a great thing as long as it's not too hard. Obviously work within your own range of uh, abilities but going into high intensity is a great way to train and brings about fitness adaptations to a great degree. So last round guys, if you'd like to step up, we're going to do the last two exercises of the Tabata. So, if you'd like to grab a mat, because what we're going to do now is an abs exercise followed by a cardio exercise. So if you have a mat at home, that's great. If you don't, just make sure you want something that's relatively soft. So, first of all, we're going to just go with the V-hold. We're going to demonstrate with Pat. If you'd just like to lie down onto the floor, please. So from here, all we're going to do is in the line position, we're going to place the arms across the chest, come up into a slight crunch, making sure the back is nice rounded into the floor, and with the knees up, we're just going to hold that position right there for 20 seconds. Okay, now if you find it's fairly easy, what you can do is just push the legs out further that way. Really important, make sure the back stays nice into the floor. We don't want any arching backs, and just hold that isometric position. Okay, and rest pat. You feel it work? Oh yes. Very good, yeah, it's a great whole abs exercise. Lower abs and upper abs. The second exercise we're going to do is a cardio exercise. 
So, Michelle, all we're going to do is just jog on the spot, nice and light. Now, this you can vary it to your own degree. If you find jogging on the spot is relatively easy, then what we can do is go into what's called spot sprint, where we have the arms just in front of us like this. We're going to touch the thigh and just raise that intensity even more. Okay, great job and rest, Michelle. Okay, so those are the two exercises, the V-hold and then the spot sprint. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight times in total. You guys ready? You guys ready? Ready. Yeah. Let's go onto the floor, into the V-hold position. Here we go, 20 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so just hold that position. Arms across the chest, there you go. That's it. Not arching the head up too much, keeping that neck nice and straight. That's it. So, what I'm going to do with these guys, because I can tell they're doing really well, I'm just going to push it out a little bit more. Last few seconds at home. Three, two, one, and relax. 10 seconds. Slowly start to get up, get into position for the spot sprint. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. So, like I said before, depending on the intensity, quite tough for you, just do as Michelle's doing, that's absolutely fine, as long as you're getting that sweat. If not, raise it up just like Pat's doing with the hands out. Doing really well, both of you. Doing really well at home. Keep going. This is the last set. Three, two, one, and relax. Excellent. Great job. Take some big, deep breaths as you go down to the floor. Five seconds left. Back into that V-hold. Arms across the chest. Let's raise up. Two, one, let's go. That's it. Now, this is what's called an isometric hold. It's very tempting to stop breathing whilst doing this, but it's really important that you do. We don't want you to starve your brain of oxygen. We don't want to starve your muscles of oxygen. So make sure you keep that breathing going. Great job, guys. A few more seconds. Two, one, and relax. Great job. Up we come. Spot sprint or spot jog, whatever it is for you. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Running on the spot. We get that pulse up. This is the cardio part of the, of the whole exercise. It's a really good opportunity to make the most, to get that cardio level nice and high, to get that heart rate nice and high, really trigger those anaerobic responses. Here we go. Nearly there. Great job, Michelle, and great job, Pat. Both of them really working. Two, one, and relax. Excellent. Some big, deep breaths. Nearly there. Halfway through. Just two more times each exercise. Into the deal position. Arms up. Two, one, and let's go, let's hold. So across the chest, that's it, just across the chest there, that's it. So we're not pulling on the neck, that's it. So, like I say guys, if you're finding it's a little bit too easy, push the legs out a little bit further, but don't arch that lower back. If it's too hard, just pull those legs back a little bit more. Keep the breathing going too. One, and relax, Good job. Here we go, up we get. Into the second to last run. Into positions, into position at home. Here we go, let's go. Excellent, that's it. So now we're getting towards the end of the workout. If you feel you still have some more in the reserves, really push for it, really go for it. This is your chance. This is where we're looking to get that training stimulus to make the most of it. Here we go, last few seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Fantastic. Guys, you've done so well. We're into the home stretch, the final stretch. Last time, both exercises. V-hold, arms across the chest, Three, two, one, let's go. Excellent. Keep that breathing going. So I'm going to really test these guys out now because it's the last one, pushing those legs out. Keep that back on the floor. Legs right out. There we go. Really engaging all those ab muscles. A few more seconds, guys. You're doing so well. Two, one, and relax. Fantastic. Up we get. Home stretch. Final 100 meters. This is it. Big deep breath. Two. One, let's go. This is it. Last chance, guys. Last chance at home. Let's really work those muscles. Keep going, keep going. This is where it counts. We really want to trigger that high intensity response. Keep going, keep breathing. I see these guys are doing so well. Keep going. Nearly there. Two, two, one, and relax. Great job. Excellent. Fantastic. Guys, fantastic at home. That was the Tabata workout, the Turbo Tabata. You guys did so well. Michelle, Pat, you guys did so well as well. How are you feeling? Fine. Fine, you feel a little, <laughs> little bit out of breath? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're looking for. And that's what we're looking for at home as well, to really trigger that high intensity response.
So now what we're going to do just to help us get our breath back, get us nice under control, we're going to take our legs just about shoulder width apart. With the arms, we're going to extend up. Big deep breath in and breathe out. Now you may wonder why we do this with our arms. The reason why is when we raise our arms above the body, what we really do is open up the space of the lungs, which really enables us to get a lot more air, a lot more oxygen in there, and make the most of that lung capacity. And breathe out, excellent, okay. And stop right there. So, you guys have worked real hard, so what we're gonna do is a nice stretching routine, make sure we cover all the major muscle groups that we've just worked. So, starting with the upper body, all we're gonna do is place the right arm across the chest, we're gonna grab behind the elbow, and we're gonna stretch. That's it. You should feel a nice stretch on the outside of the shoulder, even possibly coming into the tricep. Excellent, I'm just gonna hold that. Some big deep breaths. Make sure we get that breathing under control. Great job, man, let's change sides. That's it. So like I say, with this Tabata workout, really triggers a lot of basically what are called our energy stores. The things that we require in case we can't meet the energy requirements through oxygen usage. So now those energy stores are gonna be replenished and that's where you really get our weight loss, our fat burning session. So you'll be burning calories now, not just throughout the workout, but you're particularly burning fat afterwards and even for a prolonged period after the workout, which is obviously what we're looking for. Great job, man. Let's bring those arms down, just shake it off a second. Bring the right arm up in the air, behind the head, and let's just lean over to the side. Nice and easy, getting a great lat stretch. Big breath in, and breathe out. And let's change sides. Left arm up, behind the head, and pull around. Now what you might notice when we're breathing in is you might feel the stretch go a little bit more, a little bit more intense. That's absolutely normal. And the reason why is because when we breathe in, our rib cage is expanding, therefore putting a little bit more pressure on those lats. So even more reason to take big deep breaths. So you really feel the stretch. Excellent, and let's come back. Just shake it off a second. Okay, and hands behind the back. Push back, I'm gonna stretch out those pecs. Worked real hard in those press-ups. That's it, big deep breath in. Same thing applies with here with the breathing, and breathe out. And big breath in. And breathe out. Okay, and shake it off. So, now we're gonna to move to the lower body. If you have mats, go and grab one. If not, just make sure you're on the surface which is quite soft, so it's obviously not gonna hurt any joints or any parts of the body. So, first stretch we're gonna do is a lunge stretch with a bent over torso. So, Pat, if you'd like to demonstrate, so take a nice big step forwards, that's it, that's it. And from there, we're gonna just lean forward, arching the back ever so slightly, not so much, just so we really increase that stretch on the front leg. That's it, excellent. Big deep breath in, and breathe out. And big deep breath in, and breathe out. Okay, bring the leg back behind, we're gonna go into child's pose. So sitting back on the heels, hands come forward, and really just let loose, just to give that lower back a bit of chance just to expand in that shape right there, in that flexion. Also just to stretch out the glutes and all the major hip muscles as well. And that's exactly what this does, when you go to sit back on those heels. Extremely relaxing position to be in. That's it. Big deep breath. Stay there for a second. Fantastic. And we're gonna slowly come up. Right leg comes forward. And just do that long lunge stretch on the other side. Again, leaning forward with not too much arch in that lower back. So like I say, all this does, it just increases that range of motion with the stretch, especially on the front leg, so for the muscles involved there, the glutes, the hamstrings, and also to a degree the adductors as well. A few more seconds, two, three, and relax, and back into child's pose. That's it, just sitting back on those heels, opening up all those muscles in the hip, in the pelvis, 
and also a slight rounding of the back just to take any pressure off. This is an extremely useful position to be in, especially for people that might have too much arch in their lower back. If you find if you're walking around during the day and you find that after a long time your back starts to ache, this is a fantastic position to be in if that's the case. Excellent. Okay, and up we come nice and slow. And we're going to go onto our backs and do a nice glute deep muscle stretch on the glutes. So, all we're going to do is raise the right foot up. So, that's it over the knee. Right foot over the knee, grab through the hole. I'm going to pull back towards us until we feel a nice stretch right on the outside of that right leg. So what this is stretching is all the muscles in the gluteal area, also the very deep muscles. They have some fancy names, things like piriformis. Very prone to getting tight if you sit around for a lot of the day. Also was used extensively with all, pretty much most hip actions that we do and did today. So very important muscle that we stretch out. Great job, just keep breathing. Excellent. Okay, two, one, and relax. Same thing on the other side, nice and slow, and pull back. That's it. So, as well, what we've got going on here, really important to notice, is that when we rest the leg onto the knee, we're putting it nice and below. We're not putting the ankle over onto the knee. And that's really important because we're protecting all the ligaments around the ankle area. Otherwise, you get this inversion going on. We don't want that. This is a nice, safe way, so it's just the knee onto the top of the ankle. Excellent. And we'll lower it down. Fantastic. Okay, we're just going to spin around. Just one more stretch. Lying quad stretch. That's it. Very important we stretch this out, given that we did especially all those squats. Quads were working an awful lot there. So from here, all we're going to do is slowly bring the left heel up towards the left glute. Grab with the left arm. And we're just going to hold that position there. Excellent. Now with this pose here, what you want to do is make sure you push your pelvis in towards the floor by tensing the glutes. What we don't want is to have again that arch in the lower back, which is what tends to happen if we're not that flexible in this particular stretch. So really make sure we push those hips forward in towards the floor, maintaining obviously the foot that's held with the hand, and just continue to breathe. Fantastic. And let's slowly lower the leg. That's it. And on the other side, same thing. So we're holding here for approximately 10 seconds. And that's absolutely fine. It will maintain flexibility. We want to make sure, if you want to make sure you want to increase flexibility, we want to hold it for a little bit longer, closer to 30 seconds or so. Fantastic, guys. Again, pushing that pelvis in towards the floor so we take that pressure off that lower back. And relax, excellent. And we're gonna slowly get up in your own time. That's it, up to standing position. And I'm just gonna finish off with a little bit of neck rotation, so neck to the side. The great thing about doing this stuff after the workout is the muscles are nice and warm, and we're gonna take advantage of that extra range of motion. That's what's going on here. Very important area to stretch just because these muscles can be a little bit weak sometimes, and if all day we're stood up, sat at a computer, they tend to get a little bit tight. So it's really important to take advantage of the warm muscles we have now and stretch them out. And let's change sides. And come to center. Okay, that's the end of our Turbo Tabata workout. You guys did great. We did great here as well with Michelle and Pat. And I'll see you next time on Fit Yes.